Today I will be showing you guys two insane points building strategies that work really damn good if you are playing solo and they absolutely bang if you are playing co-op too and some of this can be used in other maps. I will go through this during the video and I want to quickly shout out Greg FPS. He's my good friend who showed me this and he also happened to be my favorite fat zombies YouTuber. No doubt about it and let's dive straight into it. Hey everybody what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and let's just get right into it and we're going to kick this from right where you spawn in the map which is area 51 now I will go over everything different ideas you can try and everything like that but if you happen to be new on the channel definitely do consider subscribing if you do daily videos and live streams and if you do subscribe definitely let me know in the comment section down below so I can get back to you and everything like that now first things first as soon as you spawn into the map go ahead and hit the gobble gum and you want to try and get disorderly combat and your first hit will be free and the second hit will cost you 1500 points now let's Let's say you don't get disorderly combat upon your first hit, definitely go ahead and kill some zombies and hit the gobblegum again. Of course, if you have done all the easter eggs in Black Ops 3 from Shadows to Revelation, you will get yourself the RK5, so if you were wondering how you get the RK5, <laughs> um, that's how you get it. So if you have that, you will easily gonna be able to kill some zombies, get points and everything like that. Now, go ahead, kill some zombies if you need to and hit the gobblegum again. If you don't get it, you can stretch it and try to get 3 thousand points to hit the gobblegum machine again for the third time and if you don't get it this time around you would have to restart because on area 51 you will be stuck on round one with unlimited zombies which is why this strategy is nuts so as you guys can see my first hit was perkaholic which made it super easy I had jug and double tap and on my second hit I got disorderly combat now I have a lot of stuff to actually talk about right now so I'm gonna start this from explaining what this gobblegum does now this gobblegum will actually going to cycle 30 different weapons and the thing is on area 51 you cannot purchase any guns because there is no wall buy there is no mystery box none of that stuff so uh, disorderly combat will give you 30 different guns and this is going to last for five minutes and in five minutes you'll be able to rack up so many points 30k is like the bare minimum you can get up to 50k and if you get double points this strategy will be plain nuts now if you're playing solo this is gonna be like bingo bango bongo you get disorderly combat you start killing zombies and everything will be good and dandy but if you're playing with multiple people what you can do is you can have them get the profit sharing gobblegum which is another mega rare gobblegum which is basically if you get the points they will profit share they will get the points as well and if they get the points you will be getting points as well so if you get what I'm trying to say here you will have disorderly combat you will be the guy that is killing zombies and everything like that you will be able to defend them and while you are killing zombies they can hit and try to get profit sharing if they don't originally have it and they can also try and get double points and everything like that so let's say they get double points and uh, they get profit sharing you will be the guy that is killing zombies you will be making double the amount of points of course and they also got profit sharing so whatever you're making they will be able to make that too which is so so good and the things to keep in mind if somehow you get KRM or the Argus well it's gonna be a little slow to kind of like shoot and everything like that so keep that stuff in mind if you do end up getting that make sure you are in a situation where you can actually survive I, I had perkaholic so it was really damn easy and on top of that I was actually playing solo so it was just like me myself and I and uh, it was really damn easy so you get the idea make points kill zombies you will have five minutes the bare minimum you can make is 30k of course that is without having double points if you have that well it can go up to 60k 80k I ended up getting about like 39k that is strategy number one and the strategy number two is insane now let's say you uh, you were someone on area 51 that actually made a lot of points and none of your teammate got profit sharing all right you were playing with four players and none of them got profit sharing and you were the only guy that actually made tons of freaking points now what you can do is you can open up the whole map you can hit the gobble guns you can actually get like or hit the mystery box you can get a ton of good guns and you want to come up into this area right here you will see there will be double tap and there will be a gobble gun very close to it and in this area you will be able to find the hacker device now if you do not know how to get the hacker device I will link a tutorial in the description below check the description if you need help finding the hacker device it is very very easy it's going to be in this area there are six different locations for the hacker device once you got the hacker device you want to be around here where the double tap machine is and uh, there will be a gobblegum machine up there as well so simply try and get the profit sharing that is very important because uh, if you are the guy that is actually hacking you won't be getting any points so uh, and also you won't be losing any points so if you have like about 20k points you'll be keeping 20k which is really really awesome 
but this is something that your teammates can benefit if somehow they couldn't like benefit in the area 51 when you had the disorderly combat so let them get the um, profit sharing or you can be the guy that actually get the profit sharing and you want to come up in here and you want to hack double tap now before I, I go over what like this will do or how this is going to work let me quickly tell you guys that uh, now the things to keep in mind if you have perkaholic you would have to get rid of your perks now you need to get rid of like every single perk except for you can actually have like three perks in total so that's fine but the thing is you need to get one slot free where you can actually buy double tap basically the thing is you're going to be actually buying double tap over and over again and you'll be losing it and with the help of hacker it is very very easy so simply come up in here hold square or X or F if you're on PC Xbox or uh, PlayStation if you're on PlayStation it's going to be square so hack that shit and you will lose double tap and basically you will be rewarded 2k points now here's the catch if your teammates or yourself got like the profit sharing your teammates will be able to benefit they won't be losing any points but you will be losing your points once you actually purchase double tap and you need to purchase over and over again so once you actually lose double tap you will get 2,000 points and your teammates will get 2,000 points as well and once you buy it you will lose 2,000 points so basically the points you got you will lose them but your teammates won't lose 2,000 points which is really damn awesome and the thing is uh, this may get patched or some shit may happen to this strategy but the first strategy that I showed you guys won't be going anywhere so that will be that that is still really damn effective and this is something that you can do if somehow you lost all your points if somehow you couldn't get the points because uh, you weren't the guy that actually had disorderly combat so things like that and somehow if you haven't got profit sharing now profit sharing is the gobble gum that is going to make this very very awesome and that's the gobble gum that you can also use in other maps of course it's not going to be crazy like moon remaster or like this strategy but profit sharing is the gobble gum that one guy can have it and other players can actually whatever you make or how many points you make your teammates will be able to make those points as well and whatever they make you will be able to make but thank you guys so much for watching if this video helped you guys out give it a like subscribe if you are new and i'll see you guys very freaking soon